What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp material tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to show you how I would download and apply a new material to a model inside of SketchUp. So we'll talk about how to set this custom material up as well as how to place it on our object inside of SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so for this video, what I've done is I've downloaded a model from the 3D warehouse. So if you wanna download it and follow, follow along, this model is the coffee table by AJ Berger. So it's a simple model that has basically a wood material applied to it. I wanted to show you how I would replace this wood material with another one inside of SketchUp. All right, so what we're gonna do with this model is we're gonna download it and apply another texture to this because if you look at this, this has one of the SketchUp textures applied to it and those are great for getting started but the problem with them is they're not very high resolution. And so what we wanna do is we wanna go download a texture from another source. And so I thought I'd talk a little bit about um, when you download those textures, what comes down, as well as how to apply those to your models. So there are a lot of places that you can go to download textures I will link to this video down below um, that I did about eight websites where you can download different textures. These both have free and paid textures. We'll go to a website where you can download free textures. So we're going to go to texturehaven.com. Note that all of these are linked in that video. We're going to go to texturehaven.com and we're going to download a material. So texturehaven is a website where the textures are 100% free. Um, you can support them on Patreon, but you can download all of these and use them for for whatever you want. And so we're gonna go into the textures section and let's download a different wood material. So they have a number of different wood materials that are in here that we can use. And uh, you can see how these all look a little bit different, but let's go ahead and let's go with this kitchen wood material. So let's go ahead and let's go with this plywood material. So you can see how this plywood material is fairly high resolution and we wanna go ahead and we wanna download that. And so, for SketchUp, you don't necessarily need all of this stuff right here, right? So this has different maps and everything else. Most of these maps are going to be image files that you're gonna use for rendering. We don't need to worry about those right now. But let's go ahead and let's download the all maps option. You can see how this gives you options for different resolutions. So I rarely go above 2K. Um, sometimes I'll go 4K, but you can see how these can get really big. And just in SketchUp itself, you don't want giant texture files files because they really slow everything down. So in this situation, we're just going to click on the button for 2K JPEG. And what that's going to do is that's going to download a zip file with the textures inside of it. And so you're going to want to place that folder in whatever file you use to store your materials. I recommend you uh, create a folder for materials just so you can find them really quickly later. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unzip this and you're gonna wanna unzip this however your computer does that. In my case, I'm just gonna right click and click on extract all. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna unzip this file. But when I open up this file, you're gonna notice that there's a bunch of different images, right? And let's look at these from an extra large standpoint. So if you open this up for SketchUp, all you really need to focus on is the one that actually looks like your material, right? So these other maps go in your rendering engine and they affect things like the way that light bounces off of your objects and uh, how bumpy things look. You don't really need to worry about them for what we're doing right here. You just wanna focus on the on the image file that actually looks like the texture that you want to apply. So if you open this one up, you can see how it looks like wood. And so you know that this is the one that you want. And so now we want to add this to SketchUp. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go into SketchUp and we're going to go over to the materials section of our tray, right? So this is going to be right over here. We want to click on this button right here for create material. So to do that, we're just gonna click on this button and we're just gonna name this plywood, wood texture, something like that. Okay, and so, so far all we've done is we've created a color, right? So if we were to click on okay and apply this, this would just have a color associated with it. Well, in this situation, what we want is we want SketchUp to use an image in order to create the texture. So to do that, we're gonna go into our texture section we're gonna check the box for use texture image and we're gonna go find that texture that we downloaded. And so when you go to that folder, you want to find the one that actually looks like the material that you want to apply. In this case, it's the DIFF, that stands for diffuse map. But we wanna go ahead and double click on that 
and you can see how that's bringing your texture image in and it's showing it as a preview. Well now we can start applying this to our model. So to do that all we have to do is click on OK and then we can click on this. We're probably going to need to double click into our model because all of these textures have been applied to the raw faces in here, right? So if you click on one of these faces, you can see how your entity info shows you the texture that's been applied here. If you were outside of this, right, if you were completely outside of your group, you can see how it's going to show up as no textures. So we want to get to a level in here where we can actually select these textures. And so from here, we can apply our texture just by clicking on this and then clicking on this face, right? And you can see how this has applied our plywood material right here. And so we could go through and just apply this to every one of these faces just by clicking on them, but there's a faster way to do this. And the faster way to do this is we're just going to, um, I'm gonna hit the space bar to get back to my cursor. I'm just gonna triple click and that's going to select all of the selected faces inside of this model. And in this case, the wood has all been modeled in here as kind of raw faces while the handles are um, inside of a group. So we don't have those selected. So that means that we can just click on this, click on our face, and that's going to apply the material to everything that you have selected. So you can see how that makes it really easy to apply materials inside of your model. So down here, we want to triple click on this and apply the texture to this just by clicking on this object right here and then clicking on that object. And so there's a couple other things we could do with this texture because all of these faces are kind of linked to this texture now because we've applied them here. Well, you can edit this texture by clicking on the edit tab and you can change like the size. So for example, this is saying that every foot, this is tiling this texture. Well, if you wanna make the texture bigger, you could say, no, I want you to tile this every two feet. So I'll type in two feet, and you can see how that made your texture material larger inside of SketchUp. So you can also make that smaller. So if we wanted like 0.5 feet, we could do that. And that's going to adjust the size of your texture as well. So you can use this in order to adjust the size of your texture overall, right? That means anything that has this texture applied to it, every time you make that change, it's going to make the change inside of your model. So I'm going to leave this at two feet for right now. But now let's take a look at something else. So for this particular model, the wood grain on these legs, you might want it to run the other direction, right? So you might want this to run up and down. And so what I'm going to do in order to do that is I'm going to double click into this until I can select this raw face. So you can see I have this raw face selected right here. Well, what I want to do is I want to reposition this texture on this face. So to do that, and again, remember you need to have the raw face selected, don't have a group selected. And so I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna look for the option for make unique texture. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna take this texture and it's gonna create a unique copy of it. So if I click on this and click make unique texture, and then if I was to click on select and go back to my eyedropper right here and sample this, you can see how this got renamed as plywood wood texture number one. So what that means is that means this created a second texture in here. And you can find all of these by looking at the in model dropdown right here. But you can see I have one wood texture right here. I have another wood texture right here. Well, what I wanna do for this one is I want to change the direction that it's facing. So in this situation, for example, I want the wood grain to run up and down. Well, I'm just gonna right click on this. And again, this won't show up unless you have the raw face selected. I'm gonna right click on this and under texture, I wanna click on the button for position. So what position is gonna allow me to do is it's gonna allow me to edit the way this is positioned on my face. I don't wanna to talk too much about the little push pins right now. Um, that is, you can use that in order to position your texture a little more manually. But in this situation, all I want is to right click, find the option for rotate and click on 90. So what that's gonna do, is that's gonna rotate this texture so that it's now facing 90 degrees the other direction. And then I can hit the enter key. So now what I have is I have a plywood texture right here that's facing the other direction. And so if it helps you, you can go in and you can rename this plywood wood texture vertical. 
green and hit the enter key. So now you can find that by name in your in model list. But now I'm just gonna go through and I'm just gonna click on all of the legs inside of my model with that selected. So notice what that's doing is that's applying that vertical wood texture to each one of these legs. So now I have my plywood texture that's running this way. And I also have a separate plywood texture running vertical that's in here as well. And so you can basically use this method to create whatever materials you want inside of SketchUp. So that should give you an idea of how I would retexture a model inside of SketchUp with a custom texture. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's another method you'd like to see. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.